everyone hopefully you will be fine and enjoying the course of life our today's topic is to demonstrate how you can enable advanced warehouse functionalities for a simple warehouse let's directly go to the without wasting time let's directly move to the dynamics where i'll be showing you how you can enable a simple warehouse to use advanced functionalities here you see that my advanced warehouse, my warehouse 11, isn't uh, enabled to use the advanced functionalities. And even on this form, it is not allowing me to edit this function. Like here you see that it's not allowing me to edit this function. So right now, I can't use uh, advanced warehouse uh, functions like the work creation, location directives and all that stuff. Uh, for for these uh, warehouse, especially for the lesson split tracking, if I have to use the lesson split tracking for this warehouse, uh, then I won't be able to uh, use that. But I have a requirement to use uh, to update this to to use advanced functionality. So I'll be uh, doing something else. So let's go to the. warehouse management module warehouse management module and fortunately here we have enable warehouse setup in the setups area enable warehouse management processes you will find the enable warehouse setup so we will be using this window to enable our simple warehouse use advanced functionalities create a new one type the warehouse id Form. So here you see that use advanced warehouse management processes is enabled. So now our warehouse 11 is enabled to use warehouse management processes. Isn't it simple? You just have to take care of one thing that you need to specify the location profile ID and secondly the advanced the warehouse which you are enabling uh, for the to use the advanced uh, functionalities for that warehouse you will have to uh, remove the default issues issue location for all multiple warehouses you can simply create a job custom job and uh, make it blank thank you so much thank you for watching have a nice day thank you